Hi, I'm Christine Hamilton, and welcome to What Do You Do? Getting lost in the mountains can be a terrifying experience for a child. Getting lost in the mountains when it's below freezing can be terrifying and life-threatening. What do you do in that situation? Just watch. Every year after Christmas, the Arroyo family heads to the mountains north of their home in Bakersfield, California. The purpose? To go sledding in the snow. It's an annual tradition. This year, they travel to Chimney Peak, a remote area where they find some decent hills. Later in the day, 13-year-old Matthew decides to leave the others and find a better slope. It's a decision he will soon regret. Well, I started walking and I thought maybe like I could find a much bigger hill since we're up in like the mountains. I found this sliding hill and I went down it and I got dizzy and I couldn't find my way back. So I'm walking and I'm yelling for my mom. Mom! Mom! So I'm still walking and it's starting to get dark and I see the moon. And I think I better hurry up and get there before it's too late. Meanwhile, Matthew's family begins searching for him, calling out his name, but they see and hear nothing. It was getting dark and I almost lost my way back. And uh, it was getting, we didn't have no flashlight, we didn't have no, no way of seeing tracks. So it was like, it's either we all stay out here and get lost together, or we go find help now, so we have a better chance of finding Matthew. While his family seeks help from the local sheriff, Matthew keeps walking. The temperature is 20 degrees and dropping. I remember watching a show called Survive This, and there were these people lost in Antarctica or something. And I saw that if you're out in the snow too long, then your veins could freeze up and you know, clog your feet and you can't walk. So I kept moving. I had my shoes on, like loose, because I don't like to tie my laces. So I'm walking and I kept feeling my feet start hurting. So I looked down and I saw that my, one of my shoes were gone. I kept walking and I looked down and I saw that my, the only thing on me was my sock. And then my other foot didn't even have the sock. The Sheriff's Department assembles a search crew and sends out search helicopters. Meanwhile, Matthew's family can only sit in their car and wait. It was cold. And I thought, well, as cold as I am, he's probably freezing to death. So I kept getting out of the car and just calling him and stuff. And then they told me to go back in the car. So. And it was cold in the truck with the heat on and the blankets on. So I couldn't imagine how he was surviving out there being that cold. Even in the dark, Matthew keeps moving. Then he hears a helicopter. And see the helicopter, I'm trying to run towards the helicopter so that they would see me. And I see the helicopter. So I take off my jacket and I start waving it around, hoping they'll see me. And they look straight at me, and they keep going. I thought, maybe they're just gonna come back around with more people or something. They didn't come back. 